My name is Karen Yamasaki, and this is Buddy. We are a pet therapy team with Hospice of the Valley. I've done a lot of volunteer work all during my adult life, and I really think that it's really important to give back to community. I was looking for some kind of an opportunity to work with Buddy as a volunteer, and the Hospice of the Valley offered that opportunity through the Pet Connections program. Their volunteer staff is, is wonderful because they really value your time. They realize that it's as valuable to you as it is to them. And so you can do administrative work if you want to do that. You can deal with the patients if you wish to do that. You can do Pet Connections or, or cut hair. So there's a lot of different things that you can do for the hospice and it, the service that it offers to the community and to people in general is, is invaluable. We, you know, we visit the homes, individual homes as well as group homes. We had visited a home, um, one of the Hospice of the Valley's homes, and there was a patient there that was just at her 11th hour. She could hardly talk. She couldn't make any noise at all. She had no voice. And um, um, I sat Buddy down next to her, and she just started talking to him. Not talking to him, but just mouthing words. She was saying something to him, but you couldn't hear what it was. And Buddy just sat there, and he, he, he had complete attention on her. And she must have talked to him like this for about 10 minutes, reassuring him, I think, about the situation. And um, that was really an a incredible experience. I, I, I think, you know, I, that's the problem. I think in American society, we, we do fear death, and we have this imagination of, of what we think it is. But when you actually see somebody going through the process of dying, it's, not a, it's a natural thing. It's not fearful. It's very comforting. There's a lot of support. And um, I think it's a good thing for everyone to experience, to see that it's not frightening. And, uh, and hospice allows you to do that.